After making 109 AI videos on this channel, I cover just about every AI workflow that I use for my AI marketing systems, as well as the AI coding stack I use to develop any software that I want. But I never showed you guys the entire tech stack that I use to run my entire business heading into 2026. Now there's gonna be three core types of tech stacks that we're gonna go through today. The first one is going to be the core AI coding stack. And this is going to revolve everything around what I use to build software from web apps to agents to mobile apps. Then we're gonna get into AI social media marketing tool stack. This is every single tool that we use to power our agents to let them do things on the internet, to act on our behalf, and to do tasks that we may not want to do with computer use agents. Now, last but not least guys, is the AI media tool stack. Now, these tools are what we use to generate AI video, AI audio, AI writing automations, and consistent AI images. All of these tools together, guys, is what creates my entire business. And so it's an absolute honor to share this with you guys today. And as a side note, everything that you're gonna see me talk about is also included in the No Code Academy. So you can go in there, grab all of these blueprints and start building your AI operating system at light speed. But honestly, all I really want from you guys to do is like this video so more people can see it and it makes me happy. So if you could do that, that'd be great. And let's dive into this tech stack that costs me around 3,500 a month, but makes around $50,000 a month. So guys, the core AI coding stack consists of four variables. We need an AI coding platform. We need an AI coding tool. We need a database to store all of this information that we're gonna be generating for our clients. And we need AI agents to do customized, specialized actions for these different businesses that we're gonna be working with. So let's start off with AI coding platforms. Now, there's two main platforms that I use for my business, and I'm gonna explain why. For people that have been in coding for a little bit longer and understand a little bit more about how things work, I recommend building on Cursor because it's much, much faster. And if you're just starting out, I would recommend building on Replit because Replit has a bunch of in integrations that a lot of AI coding uh, platforms don't have. So in one place, you have an AI coding model, you have a database, and you have agents that you can put all into Replit. So when you guys are going up the learning curve, this is actually very, very important because it's not just about learning coding for no code, it's learning about the database, it's learning about API calls, it's about learning schemas, and having everything in one place is very easy. Now, the other beautiful thing is that there's a bunch of app integrations. So even having you know authentication or deploying to the internet or looking at the app performance once you go live is also quite important. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about with the AI coding platforms, and the reason why I selected these two is because these two platforms are incredible for AI consulting. Because when you have software that's already built within these platforms, you can literally just hand them off to people by inviting them into your team or into so into your cursor teams or into your replit teams and so that creates a massive advantage the only disadvantage here is that you have to pay for each one of the people that you bring into your teams and so that's why this costs 600 a month now let's talk about the AI coding model because a lot of people might be telling you different things and I've been coding for at least two years straight now and so I have to say that Claude code is by far the best coding model in the world and it always has been. This is what Anthropic has always been focused on is being a developer first AI model. And now that everyone realizes how powerful coding agents are, ChatGPT and Gemini and Grok are all copying them, but they're still nowhere near. And there's a bunch of reasons why. So in a future video, I'm gonna get into Claude Code skills and Claude Code MCPs, but the advantage is that you can add these things to your coding agent. It basically gives it superpowers. There's also slash commands that you can use to actually you know, customize your agent a little bit more. All right, so let's get into the database. Now the database, I'm gonna try and keep it as straightforward as possible. We're gonna be using this blue elephant called Postgres SQL database. This is one database that can handle everything from agent data to vector storage to authentication. And it's also a cost effective scaling method. It's not that expensive. And and that's why it's at $50 a month. And in fact, Neon, the, the alternative to Supabase is free. So these are really, really nice to get started. And then once you have you know, thousands of users, then there's some costs associated. But the main reason why we're a big fan of the Postgres SQL database is because you can put just raw data in there and then pass it off to vectorized solutions to have our agents basically analyze the data that we're putting in here. So that's the first reason. The second reason, it's really easy for us to integrate a Postgres SQL database into our next step, which is our AI agents. 
So if you guys see in any of my AI agent tutorials, a lot of them use N8N and the N8N agent workflow always deposits its data inside of the database because then we can map that data into our operating system. So the user never actually sees any of this. They just see a beautiful front end of all the performance that our workflows are doing. Now let's talk about AI agents specifically and why I like to use N8N. So N8N uses LangGraph or LangChain on the back end. The beautiful breakthrough that LangGraph had is that they were the first team to allow you to string together multiple AI models in one workflow. And so if you guys have seen any of my N8N tutorials, I use a lot of multi-agent frameworks because you can systematically instruct each agent on how to act. The other beautiful thing about N8N guys is that there's like a thousand app integrations. And so if you were prototyping something and you wanted to see if the concept that you had was actually usable or actually like valuable, then building it in N8N before taking it into a no code platform is something that I would definitely recommend because you can essentially fuck around and find out pretty quick. Now it is also quite scalable because N8N's pricing has changed from a monthly subscription to a per usage uh, subscription. And so this also helps us charge our clients in a much more efficient way. Now, there are other solutions outside of N8N, like make.com, and sometimes there are some benefits to using make.com, but for the sanctity of simplicity, we're just gonna recommend N8N. So that, in a nutshell, guys, is the core AI coding stack, and we're looking at $900 a month, but again, when you're first starting out, your coding platform won't be anywhere near 600, it'll be something like $20 a month. Same thing with your cloud code, it'll, it, you don't have to pay for the $200 a month, you can pay for the $20 a month. And then if you're using Replit, the database is already built in, so that's $0 a month, and so your costs when you're starting out are quite low. So let's get into AI social media marketing and the tool stack associated. So the first one that we want to get into guys is the Airshare social media API and the Airshare social media MCP. Now, a side note, Airshare just got acquired for a ridiculous amount of money recently. And I, I just spoke to the new CEO and they have a lot of cool things coming down the pipeline. Now, the reason why we love to use Airshare for our social media agents is because with one tool, we have access to 92 API calls from sending DMs to posting content, looking at social analytics, looking at post analytics, comments, creating custom links, looking at your competitors, writing captions, writing video transcriptions, looking at your demographics, the list goes on and on. Now, the difficulty with the MCP server in the past was that this was way too much context for our agents to actually understand. But Claude Code skills absolutely changes that because it simplifies the agent's understanding of how to use these docs. And so in this way, we are about to change the game for social media agents, and that's gonna be in our next video. On top of that, the Airshare MCP will help you code out your workflows a lot simpler, especially if you're just starting out because the Airshare API docs is quite meticulous. And for you to wrap your head around that, I would recommend giving the MCP server to your Claude Code agent so that it understands how to build out every single API call that you want. Airshare starts out at $600 a month for your first 30 users, but as you gain more users, the per month cost goes down. So it starts off as $20 a month per client, but then once you pass 30 customers, it goes down exponentially. And so currently we're sitting at something like $1,500 a month. All right, cool. So now let's talk about what I coined the term 24 seven agents. Now these 24 seven agents, they use cookies to conduct different operations. The beauty about 24 seven agents guys is that these types of automations or AI workflows only need a one-time setup and then they work out of the box for our clients. And so the reason why I really like 24 seven agents is that it builds a lot of trust with your warm leads that you get in like an onboarding call or a discovery call because when, they, when you show them all of the possibilities, they're gonna be very overwhelmed and potentially they're gonna be skeptical of actually what you can deliver. And the beautiful thing about the 24 seven agents is that you're able to, in the same call, deliver the results. We have some workflows that are already in the Academy and on the YouTube channel that explain this, but essentially what this unlocks is the ability for us to send 5,000 to 10,000 DMs a month across Instagram, across Twitter, across LinkedIn, and that's just using Phantom Buzzer. Now, Appify is a ultimate lead sourcing 
platform. So you can grab lead sources from every single place on the internet that you can possibly think of. And other developers have already created these scraping wrappers for you to just go and grab. So they are also available for you 24 seven. So we love using these because the costs are only once and the delivery is only once and the client is just forever grateful. Cool. So computer use agents, guys, is one of the new frontiers of AI and it's, it's evolving as fast as large language models were last year. And so just how like Claude went from Sonnet 3.5 to Sonnet 4.5 and that jump was insane. So same thing is happening with computer use agents. Now, what is the advantage of computer use agents? Well, these agents, they can do tasks that you either don't want to do or APIs can't do. So one of the restrictions from APIs on Instagram is that you can't send DMs to people that you've never messaged before. But a computer use agent that's signed into your Instagram can do whatever you want. And so, for example, if we gave a computer use agent a list of 500 leads on Instagram and it's logged into your Instagram, it can literally just go find those people, send them the DMs, and then all of a sudden you have leads that are just sitting in your inbox. This is one of the most rapidly evolving spaces. It does lead us into the next tool, which is programmable computer use agents. So the first ones that you saw here, like Perplexity's Comet or ChatGPT's Atlas, these are just normal browsers, right? Just like your Google Chrome browser, right? So they're not necessarily programmable and you can't like set things to occur on a schedule. But AirTop is the exact same thing as these computer use agents, except it's accessible via the API. And I showed a quick N8N tutorial on how you can make a programmable computer use agent. And the beautiful thing about this guys is that you can literally create a workflow that no one has ever seen before because it was not accessible through an API or MCP server. In a nutshell, guys, $2,000 a month. That is the AI social media marketing tool stack. All right, guys, last but not least, the AI media tool stack. So video, audio, writing, and image. So let's start off with video. So what we love about video is three facets of it. We can generate 3D videos, we can clone characters, and we can create B-roll. And so let's start off with cloning characters, and that's gonna use HeyGen. HeyGen is the most advanced cloning platform in the world, and it's so advanced that if you wanted to clone someone, you actually needed their verification. Now, the beautiful thing about this is it leads us directly into content automation for any client. We can generate content on their behalf now because we have their clone, and no one can tell that it's a clone. So it's just like absolutely wonderful. Now, the next one we wanna talk about is just B-roll. And B-roll just basically stands for like, content that you'll watch while like audio is playing or like while something else is being described, the video is like helping the description of that. And so like, let's say there's a podcast of me talking about going on a trip to Brazil and I can grab a picture of me and uh, I, can, I can grab a picture of me in Brazil and I can put it as the image to video workflow in Sora. Then all of a sudden I have B-roll of me walking around in Brazil. And that's just a quick example that can then be used for any AI content in the future. Now, another one that is actually quite slept on is Luma Labs and its 3D abilities. So if you're working with like real estate or you're working with, you know, physical products that are quite big, think of like flooring tiles, think of like, you know, kitchen appliances and stuff like that, where people want to visualize what these products would look like in their house. Well, that's where, you know, 3D home tours or 3D product tours come into play with Luma Lab fly throughs. There's tons of stuff to work in AI video, the most rapidly evolving space right now. And our goal as a team on Creator OS is to just create the best AI video workflow using these three tools right here. This cost is going to scale quite a bit and I'm pretty sure it's already above this. But when you're first starting out, again, the costs will be lower and you'll be profitable once you sign up your first client. All right, cool. Let's get into AI audio. So the beautiful thing about AI audio is, yeah, you can enhance like phone calls and outbound phone calls and stuff like that, but you can also like replace anyone, any voice with your own. And so if you created an AI Sora video of you in Brazil and the Brazil version of you was talking, then that version is not gonna sound like you because Sora doesn't know what you sound like. But if you grab this video and you send it to 11 labs and you do a voice to voice, then all of a sudden, you have that B-roll video that also sounds like you. 
So it's pretty, it's pretty absurd. Now, in terms of, you know, phone calls, I just recommend Vapi. It's the simplest one for me to wrap my mind around when I'm building out phone agents for clients or when I'm building out phone agents for the YouTube tutorials. So there are a bunch of other options, but that is the one that we're kind of resting on. Now, AI writing can do quite literally like a lot, like it could do a lot, right? So the reason why we have this at zero dollars a month is because a lot of these costs are already in the coding tech stack, right? So we're already paying for Claude code and we're already paying for NADN. And so the writing here typically is like zero dollars or like a couple of cents because of the API tokens, but that's really it. But the beautiful thing about these writing workflows is that, you know, essentially whatever the business that you're working with needs, you could you could help them with AI work, AI writing workflows. So example of these, would be like scraping a transcript from their competitors and then using an AI model to rewrite the transcript for their own video. Another one could be reading tweets from your competitors and finding the best ones and rewriting them or finding the best news and like waiting for like, you know, the newest product to launch on Product Hunt and then writing a story about that Product Hunt launch and then making a video about it even like analyzing stats and writing a report. Like the list kind of goes on and on with AI writing. So I don't want to bore you too, too much there. Last but not least guys is AI image. And AI image is quite important for AI video because as it stands right now, AI video typically performs best when you provide a image as the first frame. And then it uses that first frame to create the rest of the video. So this is where replicate Laura's come in. And we have a video on the channel called Custom AI Models, and this shows you how to create a replicate Laura. If you guys see any of my YouTube thumbnails, for example, that is an AI Laura of me that I just recreate again and again to make my thumbnails. And in this way, we can have a very consistent output that we can feed to any of these AI models as well. So absolutely powerful in that sense, but then in AI editing as well, AI image editing, Nano Banana is actually absurd. So this is, as it stands, November 2025, the AI media tool stack. Um, but I am also keeping my ear on the floor, making sure that, you know, if anything else pops up, we don't want to be, you know, just sold on these tools that we're using because when a new AI tool that disrupts and any one of these comes out, you definitely want to be the first to hop on it. So guys, that is in a nutshell, my AI coding and AI marketing tech stack for my AI agency heading into 2026. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this provided some value. See you in the next one.